My question is to the Minister for Employment and Workplace Relations. Minister, what is the labour hire loophole that the Albanese Labor government is acting to close? I call to the Minister for Employment and Workplace Relations and the Minister for the Arts. Thanks very much, Mr Speaker. And I want to thank the member for Paterson who has been making speeches about this issue for a very long time. Uh, when people ask about what's same job, same pay about, the best way to explain it is we're trying to close a labour hire loophole. Uh, it's not as was depicted in some ads I saw last week where there was this concept that somehow some employers might have to pay somebody who's been there for six years the same as someone who's been there for six months. Uh, that's something that is not government policy, that the government's not legislating, that I'd never thought about before, and now that I've thought about it and seen the ads, it's a really bad idea. Uh, but there is a loophole that needs to be closed. There, there is a loophole that needs to be closed, and it's this. When an, employer, when an employer has agreed, when you have an enterprise agreement in place and they've agreed this is the rate of pay that is appropriate for each classification, the employer should not then be able to use a labour hire company to undercut that rate of pay. And when people say, oh, what does this mean for productivity? Well, the employer has already agreed in the enterprise agreement that that's the productivity value of the work. And having agreed to that, then wanting to go off and use a labour hire company to undercut what they had already agreed was the value of that work. Now, that loophole needs to be closed. Senator Cash said in an interview last week, show me where the loophole is and then close it. Well, that's where the loophole is. Most employers aren't on enterprise agreements. Those who are on enterprise agreements, most employers aren't using this loophole. This is not something that ricochets in a massive way across every wages budget across the economy. But for those employers who are using it, it results in a radical cut in the pay for people who work there and creates a situation where you have people working side by side who have been there for the same length of time, who are doing the exact same job, often in the same uniform, working to the same supervisor, but are being put on different rates of pay. Why? Because there is a loophole that says, well, technically Order. you're employed by someone else, so we can now ignore everything that had been agreed to. There are a series of loopholes that undercut wages. There's the fact that in, if a worker steals from the employer, it's a crime, but if the employer steals from the worker, it's not. That loophole needs to be, needs to be closed, and wage theft needs to be made unlawful. It's a, it's a loophole that you can be working for a shop, riding your bike, delivering, and you've got the protection of the award system and all minimum rates of pay. But if you have the same lack of power, but you're working on a gig platform at the moment, you have no right to minimum standards at all. That's a loophole, and it Order. needs to be closed. The minister's time has concluded.